Today, we're going to be talking about an incredibly sensitive topic, whaling. I, myself, am a whale. I currently have 9 6 stars at max potential 6. I currently have 88 etude operators while owning every operator in the game except Flamebringer. I purchased every skin available since I began Arknights. I bought furniture sets with Originite Prime, what the heck? I bought the weekly growth packs every week. At least I used to. And I reached to level 120 in two months by max refreshing sanity over 30 times a day. Yikes. And looking back, I of course wish I was smarter about spending in Arknights, and primarily I wish I did a better job at prioritizing what I actually wanted, which I soon figured out was simply collecting all the operators and raising whichever ones I liked. And of course meta units. However, along this journey, I've come to understand the variety of spending options available and which ones to prioritize depending on your spending limitations. The title and thumbnail imply that I'm going to be talking about whaling, and we certainly are, but we are also going to address a spectrum of spenders. Many of you veteran players out there may already have a budget in place or have already decided to go purely free to play, so this guide may not apply to you. However, if you are new to Arknights or still torn about whether you should spend money in the game and how much, this guide is the perfect video for you. Now before we dive in, let's address the free Arundum available to you in Arknights. Every day, if you complete daily missions, you get 100 Arundum. Every week, if you complete weekly missions, you get 500 Arundum. Every week, if you max out Annihilation, you can get 1,800 Arundum. So, as the math adds up, that means that every single week, you can obtain 3,000 Arundum, which equates to 5 summons. And assuming roughly 4 weeks every month, that equates to 12,000 Arundum, which is 20 summons. From my experience, it takes an average of 50 pulls to proc a 6 star, unless you're very unlucky. So the pure free-to-play experience can still be enjoyable. On top of this, remember that you can get free currency while completing the story, participating in different events, and of course maintenance. But for now, let's put those aside and hop into our swiping options. First, we got Goldfish. TLDR, only buy the $5 monthly pack. This spending option will allow you to save up and reasonably target specific banners to roll on every few months. You won't be anywhere able to obtain every character, and sometimes you'll completely luck out, hit that off banner, and return to slowly building up your premium currency stash to spend on the next anticipated banner or rerun. The monthly pack gives you 6 Originite Prime immediately, as well as 6,000 Arundum by the end of the 30 days, assuming that you log in every single day. On a raw conversion basis, these 6 Originite Prime convert to 1,080 Arundum. Add that to 6,000 Arundum, and that equals 7,080 Arundum from the entire monthly pack, which is roughly 11 pulls. Assuming you log in every day, we can take this 11 pulls, add it to the 20 pulls that you just get from playing the game, and that equals roughly 31 pulls per month. With the stash, it is possible to look into the future and snipe a character every few months. Luckily, playing on Global, we have that foresight into banners that have released on CN. So while the Goldfish budget doesn't give you much optionality, it is still an enjoyable option for very low spenders. Next, we have Dolphins. TLDR, buy the $5 monthly pack as well as the $26 monthly headhunting pack. Personally, I think that this is the most comfortable budget to have if you really like Arknights and you have money to spend. Of course, with this budget, you won't be able to sanity refresh or buy every skin in the game, but you can usually ensure that you can snipe an operator that you want as well as buy some skins. And the extra bonus here is that as a result of summoning every month or two, you can accumulate enough green and yellow certs to obtain materials and even more headhunting permits if you like from the certificate shop. Now, the main enabler of this spending option is the $26 monthly headhunting pack. If you can get it, this thing has amazing value. 
This pack gives 42 Originite Prime as well as one 10 roll ticket. This equates to roughly 22 pulls on a conversion basis. Now we can take the 22 pulls from this headhunting pack, add it to the 11 pulls from the monthly card, and then of course add it to the 20 free pulls by simply playing the game, and you get 53 pulls per month. Per month! 53 pulls! That is a ton of summons! And that's not even including additional pulls from maintenance, events, and the certificate shop. Now, let's talk about whales. TLDR, buy the $5 monthly card, buy the $26 monthly headhunting pack, and also buy every single Originite Prime pack at the two times multiplier. The main difference here between a dolphin and a whale is whether you touch that Originium tab. All right, let's get into the numbers. Buying every OP pack at the two times multiplier will cost you just over $200, and that equates to 527 Originite Prime. These 527 OP equals 94,860 Orundum, which equates to roughly 158 pulls. Note that every OP pack will reset its two times multiplier with every Arcanine's anniversary. So in essence, this is a yearly $200 injection into Arcanines. And that is, uh, that's a lot of money. Um, and the major thing you will receive by doing so is optionality. Optionality to roll if you get cucked by off banners, optionality to push an extra potential on a banner, and optionality to buy more skins. Now, on a numbers basis, you can take the 53 pulls per month of a dolphin and cushion it with these 158 additional pulls that you can ration to specific banners. Now, let me give you my opinion on being a whale in Arcanines. If you're a whale in regards to the budget I laid out, it is not a gambling addiction. Uh, because, well, uh, you can't endless refresh and you will be nowhere close to max potentially any operator. Uh, let's be real. Whales are very smart about their spending, or at least should be smart about their spending. Yes, they have the wealth to do whatever they want, but there's no benefit to anyone mindlessly swiping. Whales should take pride in spending on Arknights, supporting the devs, and having the optionality to play in a way that makes them happy. But at the end of the day, I still believe that whales should be purposeful about their transactions, and I think most of them are. Anyways, let's move on. Now, we've arrived at the last category. Leviathan. TLDR. Buy everything. If money isn't an issue to you and you just love Arknights so freakishly much, or of course have a gambling addiction in which you should probably seek help, you can probably buy everything from the store and it will provide some sort of value to you. Speaking from my personal experience, I was once a Leviathan in Arknights and uh, it wasn't fun. The only tip I have for Leviathans is when you buy the Originite Prime packs after the two times bonus, always buy the $99 pack. For example, if you're trying to max pot an operator and you run out of OP somewhere into getting the last potential and your brain is telling you, I think uh, I just need 50 more pulls uh, to hit pity, so let me just pay $30. No, if you want to maximize value, always buy the $100 pack to get the extra bonus OP. If anything, they can be used for your next whaling effort. All right, quick thoughts on every other item. Bullet speed. Starter headhunting pack. Very valuable. Gives you two 10 pulls for $20. Very worth it. Dolphin plus. Gummy starter pack. Gives you Gummy, the four star healing defender, LMD, some XP cards, uh, one headhunting permit. Super worth it. Uh, if you plan to spend any money on Arc Knights, pick it up. I mean, literally a dollar. Goldfish Plus. Now starter upgrade pack. For $10, you get 13 OP, 40,000 LMD, a good batch of XP tickets and other items. And if we're strictly looking at OP, the ratio of course is worse than most of the other OP options, but uh, it does have a lot of valuable resources. So this is a good buy. Dolphin Plus. Starter furniture pack. Six OP and 2,400 furniture parts. Terrible value in terms of OP. Uh, only buy if you want the furniture parts. Um, Dolphin Plus with an asterisk. Weekly Growth Pack. Uh, never buy this. <laughs> Only one kind of player should buy this. Leviathans. Event Specific Packs. Most of these packs come from half year and full year anniversary celebration events and usually come at the $25 or $50 mark, as well as usually a six star operator selector. 
usually extremely worth it from an OP and resources perspective, though of course it's not necessary for all players. Whale Plus. And that's it. That's my uh, comprehensive guide to whaling across many different spending limitations. I hope this provides a lot of you some clarity about how you want to approach spending in Arknights. And at the very end of the day, remember that it is your personal decision what kind of spender you want to be as long as you are financially capable to do so and are having fun. If you like this kind of content, please hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment below on what your spending budget is. I also stream on Twitch and you can also join our Discord community in the description below. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe and I'll catch you next time. Peace.